10 years ago, right, there was no riot, there was no League of Legends. And, you know, looking back on all the great things the community has accomplished and the awesome stuff that's been created, it's just mind blowing. Mark and I were sort of a niche of gamers back in an era when most things were single player and most games were sort of sold at stores. And we were early members of lots of online game communities, whether it was Dragon Realms in Brandon's case or, you know, Ultima Online and EverQuest in my case. He was in the top 100 of the original StarCraft ladder. And uh, we just loved connecting online with people around games and being competitive and, you know, going deep. We wanted to build a company that would really try to put the player first and, and care deeply and forge a, a great relationship with gamers. The, the journey here has been full of scary moments, especially like in the early days. Like there were moments when we had a team when suddenly we're responsible for people's livelihoods and like, are we going to be able to sort of hit the next milestone so we can make payroll? Are we going to actually make a game that is going to be worth playing? Those early beta days, you know, there's probably a couple hundred players in our whole community at the time and maybe 30 or 40 of them would show up and you start to see the same names. I just always think to myself, like, how is it that these guys, like, want to be here, like, in this game? Like, when's the shoe gonna drop? Like, there's so many bugs, we have so many challenges, there's so many things we're working on. It felt like a loyalty that we didn't deserve. For me, like, the moment when all the growth of the community felt tangible was really the season two worlds. Just walking into that and looking around and seeing you know, League of Legends fans, you have signs and they're just screaming and they have jerseys on, and it was just like, holy shit, this is awesome. And it just, I think those types of moments made us want to do more for the community and try to, you know, create even cooler opportunities. It's so rewarding, you know, to see the passion. Players do things with our champions we'd never even imagined, and the designers didn't imagine, and we sort of evolved that understanding together with the community. Oh, the flash hook, the big got him! Xiao Wei Xiao goes down. You know, when the community creates a piece of content that just like totally makes you smile or laugh, I think what they do for us is they just like drive this, this need to sort of live up to the expectations. We gotta be worthy of this kind of passion. Sometimes we spend so much time thinking about features, developing something, and we, that we lose perspective, yeah. and the community can just keep us honest. And those are the times when we try to really acknowledge, you know, our mistakes and get better. You know, I think we both probably feel a, a tremendous amount of gratitude for the incredible ride we've sort of had together and the, the uh, moments that we've been touched by you know meeting players and seeing their passion for league and appreciation for a lot of the things you know rise done i mean they've helped us grow as people and as individuals incredibly the the gratitude that we have is just there's no amount of words that could express it <laughs>